されたのは今回が初めてでございます。Further confirmation: the outbreak of a new viral pneumonia in China is on the move. A man in his 30s arrived in Tokyo with a cough and high fever. He's now recovering. So too is another traveler in Thailand. Both had visited Wuhan, the Chinese city where investigators confirmed at least 41 people are sick with the mysterious new virus. Two men in their 60s have died. Investigators say most, but not all, of the patients spent time at this seafood market in Wuhan that sells live and dead animals. They're likely the source of this infection. But the question now is can it spread from person to person? So far, no one knows. It's really too early to be confident about what the disease looks like. Investigators say they're dealing with a new type of coronavirus, placing it in the same family as severe acute respiratory syndrome or SARS, which killed nearly 800 people, including 44 Canadians almost 20 years ago. If you think about the initial cases of SARS, the case fatality rate was much higher. So it looks like this virus is less severe. Tokyo, Japan, Uh, Taipei, Hong Kong. Infectious disease doctor Isaac Bogosh can predict where the illness will be detected next. Unlike during SARS, China is quickly sharing information that's also enabling scientists to create tests for the new coronavirus. It's extremely important that、uh, we be wary of infections that might be acquired on、uh, distant lands that might land on our doorstep. In just over a week, Lunar New Year celebrations will see millions of people traveling within China and around the world. Health Canada says hospitals are on alert and that anyone arriving from an affected country who is experiencing flu like symptoms should notify authorities immediately. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.